I grew up actually partly in Hong Kong, pretty much the, in a way for real in London. My first degree was uh, economics and accounting. I fell in love with computer science and I switched to a computer science degree. It was in Essex University. Essex University? Yeah, very close to London. Computer graphics didn't exist at the time, right? Not really, no. No, actually we, we did a little bit of those um, sort of vector graphics in, in university. Um, mm -hmm. we, we used a, you know, a PC and the, the lecturer would assign us some, some homework. And the homework is to use Pascal to actually draw like a pattern. You know, it could be just a, a simple box or and then to, towards the end it grew to be much more complex which is Argyle Sock because Argyle Sock involves recursive algorithm and that's when when we really got serious into computer graphics in a way. <laughs> so, so Argyle Socks was your entry into this, this business? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> After my first degree I went to study a postgraduate degree, a PhD at, at University College London and uh, when I was there, I was doing what we call functional programming research, and that's very mathematical. And and then, but then all my colleagues were were a lot of them were also sort of doing. I mean, they were doing different things, but then they were we were all kind of interested in movies, and and we so we go and see a lot of movies together, and then we started talking about oh, what what about the Blade Runner, and what about Star Wars, and then we find out that we have this common interest which is computer graphics mm -hmm. and then and then we got we, we would go to dinner and then we talk about how things are done how to do the blue screen how to do paint box how, how can we do you know what they what they do in in you know say Blade Runner where, where you can you know have these flying spaceships and, and all, all kinds of you know magic tricks that they used to do in these in these films and and then lo and behold, one of them actually was a freelancer at this company called the Moving Picture Company. And then he, he was also doing research as well at UCL. And, and then he, when I was done with my, with my degree, he said, well, we need someone who could start our alias division. It was at a time, the f like alias just came out of a, a commercial software for the animation industry. And I remember it was version 1.2. They needed someone who, who understands, you know, computer graphics packages. And they also, you know, can someone also can understand Unix, can program in Unix because everything is done on that platform. So, so he said, you are like the perfect person for it. So I, I got the job and then I worked for the moving picture company for three and a half years, which was at the time there was only two of us. It was uh, at nine, 1986 to 1989. So I created actually, you know, a man coming out from like a flat piece of geometry. Mm -hmm. um, like, you know, oh, you see a logo and suddenly a man kind of swivel out, out of that. That's kind of hardcore, unheard of, like really, you know, groundbreaking work. <laughs>